Okay, let's have a look at setting up your Bomoflex project. Um, the first thing you need to do is create a new customer connection. So when you start the Bomoflex app, you'll get this screen over here the first time. You can change the database server name where you can install the Bomoflex database. You can use SQL authentication or Windows authentication, and then you'll select the Bomoflex database. I've got a couple there, but basically I'm going to do this one here. So what we're going to do now is create a new customer because this is the first time we do this. And for the purposes of this uh, project here, I'm just going to call my customer Bomoflex trial project, but you can give it any na name you want. And we just hit the create customer. So by default, what I'll now do is create you the first version. We'll cover all versions in a later section there. Hit apply. And now you've created your first customer there. So before we start get going, we need to get some sample metadata in there. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll grab some load, load sample metadata here and choose the starting point for SQL Server here and the replace version, metadata snapshot, and click OK. So what we've now done is we've loaded the sample metadata to start our, our walkthrough with. Um, we'll have some connections here, which I'll go through in a little bit here, batches and projects. So that is just creating our very first sample metadata project. And now let's have a look at how we set up the Bimble, Flick, uh, the Bimble Studio project and connect that to this Bimbleflex metadata. When you open Bimble Studio, you will need to create your Bimbleflex project here. Um, this is the um, Bimble Studio is what we'll use to actually build out all the code. So again, pick your location here. I'm just going to leave it where it is. And I'm going to use the same name for my Bimbleflex project. And I'm going to click OK. This creates an empty Bimble Studio project that will be able to build all of our metadata. And now we'll connect it to them our metadata to the database. The first thing we'll do here is we'll say, we'll, what database server are we connected to? I'm using C, uh, Windows Authentication there. I'll hit update here on the databases and I'll choose Bimble Flex. If you only have one project, this will be, or one customer version, this will be auto filled for you. If you're working through it and you have multiple projects, you'll hit the update button there. So I'll save the metadata here. You may need to close Bimble Flex and open that again. And that's what I'll do now. I'll just close Bimble Flex and open it again. Bimble Studio and I'll open it again. Okay, so I'm just going to select the same project that I had before. And this is now going to open and have be connected to my metadata. And as you can see here, here is my sample connections, databases and schemas. So now I'm ready to actually import some metadata and start building out some solutions.